I'm going to, I brought up this photograph that I took, and I'm going to use it as a design inspiration for the pen tool. First I'll grab this color, I'll grab the pen tool, and up here you see I have this toolbar. This is the pen tool shape layers. This is just paths over here. And over here this is create a new shape layer and keep adding to the shape layer. So first we'll start with the petals that are behind and we'll do the shape layer. And remember it doesn't have to be exact because this photograph is just an inspiration. And you see the little circle in the right? That's how you close it. Okay, and then if you would like to edit it, of course the direct a path selection tool, the black one, selects the entire object, and the white one is if you want to edit the individual nodes. And I'll go in close so you can see that the nodes have little handles on them so that you can pull the handles and shape the handles to get a nice curve on it. You have a lot more control over the nodes in Illustrator. So this is a kind of a simplified Illustrator package. And if you want to, let's see, you have the path selection and the direct selection tool. And you have the pen tool, the free form, add a point, delete a point, and convert a point. Up here we can convert this point because it was a curve point and now it's a straight point. And now we'll back up a little bit. We'll just do one flower because of the time constraints. So we'll get the pen tool again and we will add to the shape area. And I'll click off here add to the shape area. We'll do this one because this one's behind. So we're going to add to the shape area. And end it. Let's see our layers here so we can get want to add to it. Okay. Click off. Hit the pen tool. Hit the add to the shape layer. Now we'll try this one. Now we have two petals on this shape layer. Okay, and this is another shape layer here. If I want to make this color a little darker, I click this and this shape area will be a little darker, you see? Now I'm going to start a new shape area. Well, here's one that could be dark. Maybe I can add, maybe I'll just add a new shape area, a new one, and I'll have this, maybe that would be the lighter one, a new shape area. Okay, and I can click on this color and pull it up a little. There we are. And now I'll keep the same color and I'll add to the shape area. There it is. And I can pull it and I can modify it pull those little nodes. Okay, and then click off. And if I want one more light one, I'll have uh, another shape area right here. And I can make that lighter yet. Maybe not quite so light. There you are. And I can take the flower off and I can click off 
and I can have leaves behind it. I have my own new flower. I can take this and I can select all these layers and I can merge these so they're all in one and I can create some more shapes maybe this color in the center these little stamen and make another one on the same layer and maybe one more then make a new layer and click on a new layer and there you are and you can even then take yourself a green color and make a shape behind and there you are and you're on your way to creating a motif you can move it, change it, use the white arrow to change the individual points, use the black arrow to move the entire item, and the white, see, the black arrow will help you select the entire item if you want to change it, or move it, or you can have the bounding box on, and you can turn it, you can make all kinds of adjustments, and as long as you're working with the shape area, you can always go in and you can change the color by clicking this little box. And you can change it and change it and change it and change it. And when you're all done, you can, I made the background invisible, and then you can merge visible. And then there you are, you've got your new motif that you created, and it was based on the inspiration from this image. So you use that image as a design inspiration. You could take this motif if you wanted, you could duplicate it, you could, you can't transform it or move it or change it around till you look in preferences at your interpolation. Bicubic is if I want the edges tonal. I created this with flat reduced colors so I would want to keep nearest neighbor on so that my colors would stay reduced. So now that I have nearest neighbor on, I can put the transform tools on and the link to keep it in proportion and then I can make it smaller and then I can turn it and I can make a motif. Hit the enter or the check mark go on here, make it a little smaller, turn it around, move it, and you see I created a motif completely based on this photograph. There it is, using the pen tool.